I am to report the TV was blasting over my head from the murder room where they kill and chop up bodies. Okay, so 30 seconds, I got out of my room, moved the thing, turned the fan down, and I exit. And the whole house is engulfed with level two cooked human remains. It's the sickest thing I believe I will ever witness in my life. So the TV's blasting through the whole house from floor three, the murder room where I heard it in my room. And the um, house is dark and is lit up with uh, dead body parts cooked on a hot skillet. Level two is, this shit's so fucking bad. Level two is you can't fucking breathe. Through. You don't breathe, period, when they're cooking human organs and tissues. It either is not here and you breathe through your nose or you're not fucking breathing that. It's instinctive. Thank you for repeating yourself, Heidi. Just stop. You're belittling yourself by repeating. I go in the bathroom as soon as I close the door. Uh, within 10 seconds, it was really fast, but it took a, about 10 seconds. The female terrorist who wanted to identify herself at that point in time was standing over my head and got onto the telephone and a fake phone call. I would say, I believe it's more than likely fake. And she's talking official and she's saying, hello, I, 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 I'd like to report Heidi Granger. She's reporting me is what it was, okay? It was completely staged and contrived. I have no reason to believe that there was anybody or anything that hurt her besides her wanting me to film her and me hearing her. But she sounds, she's coherent enough to be able to make a sentence straight and talk in her official voice. I work with the fire department. I have to report Heidi Cringer. So she's in her, this woman can stand trial and she's a great witness if they ever arrest her, but I have no reason to believe that will ever fucking happen. So this female terrorist who does actively try to blow up the airport and metro stations is now here, has identified herself, and is still making fucking attempts on my life. Okay, so I go in the bathroom. That conversation goes for, fuck, at least 30 seconds, maybe a minute. I ignore it, okay? And I run the water and I flush the toilet, okay? I'm to ignore that, not film that. I'm not allowed to film it, talk about it, or anything. I'm supposed to take my bath is what I'm supposed to do, Okay? After the conversation ended, by the time I was in the bathtub, the TV started blasting over my running water into my bathroom through the wall from floor three, through the wall. When they project it, they put the speaker right up to the wall, enough description. It's not coming in just through sound waves. It's being fucking projected into my bathroom. This really loud fucking TV program. That went for about two minutes. I continued to ignore that. Take your bath. My green light is there's Al Qaeda, the ones that are on my count that taught her how to blow up the airport, that came here and tried to blow up the airport with the Irish uh, terrorist. These are fucking on the books terrorists. This is their thing and I need to be careful what I say about her because they don't like her. So, but here I am reporting, so I'm done. Because when I get back into my room, I do not hear a TV on my way out from the bathtub. There's nobody here. I'm guided to tell the top cops who are keeping these uh, men away from me. There are five U.S. paid through the city of Washington, D.C. fire department men who are on their way to the front door to be let in by the cannibal terrorist to come and tackle me and end my life in my room. I don't care what the fucking grounds for killing me in my room are, okay? It's fucking assassination. It's fucking homicide. That's what they're all premeditated in, in the thing of doing they're on their way there's five men okay um they're fire department 100 percent, and they're coming loud and proud let the world see them and hear them and we know how they operate here okay so the good guys are going to keep them from coming and crashing through my room from the front door but what i need to re relay again is there's al-qaeda and i don't need to tell these guys that because they're i'm not friendly to anybody anymore but i'm still going to tell you and i'm still going to save your lives in every inch of my abilities, okay? There's Al-Qaeda really dangerous terrorists, the ones that taught them all this, and I don't have to shout at you about it because you know this back and forth. They're here, 
and they're after their fucking people, okay? I gotta be careful at that point. Yeah, it's self-explanatory. Goodbye.